Hey, I'm making this video to show you how to use Miss Mustard Seed's antiquing wax over top of Miss Mustard Seed's milk paint. Our subject for today's tutorial is this beautiful oak dresser that has been painted in the lovely red called Tricycle. Now, before you start using any of the colored waxes in Miss Mustard Seed's milk paint collection, that would be antiquing wax, white wax, or zinc wax, you want to make sure that you have some kind of a clear protective layer over top of your Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint to protect the color. That can come in the form of hemp oil, which is the sealer that I have on this piece at the moment. You can use beeswax or you can use clear furniture wax. And the reason why you want a layer of a clear sealer on your piece first is to protect the color to make sure that your tinted wax that you're applying goes on nice and crisp and it just gives you a much cleaner finish in the end. So that's my first tip for you. When you first open your jar of antiquing wax, it's going to look like this. What I don't recommend is working out of the can. Instead, grab yourself just a normal paper plate and a popsicle stick and go into your can and scoop out a good sized amount of antiquing wax and put it on a paper plate. The reason why you want to work off of a paper plate instead of inside the can is so that way this doesn't get contaminated um, with anything that you're pulling from your project piece. The next thing you want to do is decide how you're going to apply your wax, like what tool are you going to use. I personally recommend wax brushes. Wax brushes usually have a wooden handle and they have natural bristles at the end and they come in all different shapes and sizes. Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint actually makes her own wax brushes. If you look at the bristle difference on these two, you can really see how as you use your wax brush, the natural bristles tend to get smushed down and they get shorter over time. Um, I still keep these on hand because these are great for like stippling and doing cross hatching patterns if you want to develop texture. This is the one that we're going to be using today. I prefer this wax brush because all of these bristles, um, they're long and they do a really great job at smoothing wax across a large flat surface, which is exactly what we have on this oak dresser. Another option that you have is to use a lint free cloth. This happens to be just a white uh, rag. They come in boxes. You can get them in the paint aisle. I don't prefer these to put on my wax, um, like to dip this into the wax and wipe it on like this, because I find that more wax goes on the rag than on my piece. So I actually use these to wipe the wax off. But enough talking. It's time to get waxing. So I have my Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint Wax Brush. I have my antiquing wax on my paper plate, and we're going to get started. The amount of wax that you put onto your brush um, is minimal. It doesn't have to be a lot. It's not a super huge glob. Just get like a decent sized amount on there and then you literally just start brushing it on. So watch like right here. It looks a little scary while it's going on because antiquing wax is tinted to be a lovely dark warm brown shade. So I'm smoothing everything out and I'm done. Just kidding. <laughs> so what you do is you get your antiquing wax onto your surface and then you grab yourself a lint-free cloth. And I cannot emphasize the lint-free part of that enough. Do not use a paper towel. Um, you can use a microfiber cloth. I actually love using these little guys. I get rags in a box from my the paint aisle in my local hardware store. These don't have any lint. They come in a box of like 200 and if you're really cheap and you want to save money, you can cut these little guys in half and you can get yourself 400. They're very inexpensive. They're less than $20 a box. So this is what I recommend using. So I've just got mine right here and I am going to rub back the excess until I personally like the look. And as I'm wiping, I'm trying to follow the grain of the piece. So like 
On this vertical part right here, the wood grain is running up and down or vertically. On the drawers and this part right here, the wood grain is running horizontal or left to right. So I recommend that you wipe in the direction of your wood grain. So there we go. Now in the corners, I do go up and down um, just to get everything out of like this part right here. But there you go. It really is like the Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. This is what I really want you to pay attention to. Can you see right here where there's like deeper uh, gouges in the wood, how that antiquing wax just settles in there and looks nice and beautiful. There's like a subtle aging that the antiquing wax adds to this piece and that's exactly what it is supposed to do. Antiquing wax just adds um, the appearance of natural age and patina. It kind of mimics the look of grunge and dirt that may have accumulated over the course of decades. Um, it's a decorative finish. It does protect beautifully, um, but it just adds that like warm brown patina that just looks dynamite over really rich colors like tricycle. Now that the whole front of the drawer is done, I'm going to show you what to do about the corners down here because I'm doing this all with the drawers in. So I have a regular screwdriver. I'm just going to put it here into the holes and that's going to help me get the drawer open. And then along the top, I have some wax that's accumulated in the corners. So I'm going to come through with my rag and just wipe up the excess real quick. And then I'm going to grab my wax brush and put the wax up here so that the look is consistent across the piece. So that way when you, whether the drawer is open or shut, it has the same look all the way around. So there's that. I'm going to do a quick, quick wipe down the side, a quick wipe under here. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe like up underneath here because I've got some wax that accumulated up under there. And so now everything is all nice and clean. And the reason why I wax with the drawers in is because with old furniture, these wax, or I'm sorry, the drawers aren't always um, even. They don't always close the exact same depth into the piece. They can be a little quirky. So, but when drawers sit flush or they're inset like this one is, it's just easier to wax everything that you see and then pull the drawers out and adjust in the corners as you need. Now that we're done with the front of the dresser, I've done the drawer area, it's time to do the top. And I have a couple tips and suggestions to help you when you're doing a long flat surface like the top of a dresser or the top of a desk or even like a buffet top. The very first suggestion that I have for you is to take long strokes going across your piece as you're applying your antiquing wax. Like don't do short choppy strokes like this because if you're trying to cover a long area, the size of your stroke should match the size of your piece. Unless you're trying to create texture, um, in which case you can feel free to take short choppy strokes. And you're gonna have to probably load your brush with a little more product so it can travel a further distance. But for the most part, if you notice, I'm, I'm taking strokes that go across the entire length of the top like that when you're ready to wipe off the wax do the same thing take long strokes with your rag and make sure that your rag is nice and flat and you don't have too many crinkles in it otherwise you'll get texture in your wax as you're like wiping it off so I'm gonna do this from the sides a little easier because my arms are short actually I'll do this from the front so just wipe as straight as you possibly can. And when you reach the edge, let your hand fly off the edge just like that. 
What I don't want you to do is come to the edge and then like make a U-turn and go like that. Like don't do this. Here's why. If you make those U-turns when you reach the edge of your piece, you're going to put a U-turn in the wax as well. You're literally going to be able to see the curve that your hand took as you were wiping um, and, it, and it's going to be noticeable. Trust me, I've done it before. So wipe and then let your hand just keep going right off the edge of the piece. Keep a nice straight line just like that.